Hi everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have a hip cardio remix with fast and slow intervals. We're going to be doing exercises in an ABAB fashion. The A exercise is the slow version, the B exercise is the fast version. They're 20 seconds a piece, no break between the A and the B, but after we finish the whole group, then I'll give you 10 seconds break until we go into the next group. Uh, and again, we'll do them 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and then a 10 second break. Um, we have included both a warm up and a cool down, so you don't need to add anything else. I'll get my timer ready. We'll go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm up here, and the first exercise is going to be slow butt kickers. So you're just going to kick your foot up like you're trying to kick yourself in the bum. So it's right behind here. We're just doing it slow to start. We've got to warm up those muscles first. So I always like sort of this tempo variation with the hit cardio. Um, it just makes it more interesting, less boring. It's fun, and the workout goes really fast. This is 20 minutes, and it'll be over before you know it. So next up, we have a boxer shuffle. So just shuffling those feet back and forth. Uh, I also want to remind you, because there's no break when we're doing the slow and fast intervals, to always look up to your left hand side of the screen, whether it's your computer or your TV, and it will preview what exercise is next. I will always try and cue you, but if I forget, look to that left corner and there'll be a reminder there for you. Just a few more seconds here and we're going to go into torso circles. So feet just wider than shoulder width, come down, across the front, and up, and have a nice twist through the torso there. Just a few more seconds. Next we're going to move into a squat with an overhead reach. So remember with a squat, feet shoulder distance apart, start with your bum stuck out, and then I'm going to reach up over my head. So we're going to be doing lots of squats in this remix. So it's a good motion to warm up our glutes, warm up our quads, warm up our hamstrings. Next up we have a slide lunge with a toe touch. So we're just doing opposite hand to foot there. And I've started to notice it's been six weeks since my pixie cut and uh, it feels long to me. I sort of feel like Rapunzel, just keeps growing. Um, and I also don't hate it anymore. I hated it when I first got it, but I don't know if I've just grown used to it or, so we'll have to see what I decide to do. <laughs> Okay, next up we have jumping jacks. This is our last warm-up exercise, so make it count. So after this, the workout begins. We'll get into the hard stuff. Great job. Grab a quick drink of water if you need to and meet me right back here. Okay, we're going to get started here and first we're going to do an alternating side leg raise. This is our A exercise. So just have your feet planted and we're literally just lifting one leg and then the opposite out to the side. This is a big balance challenge. So whatever you need to do to keep it is good. And next we're going to move right into TikTok. So it's a fast motion of this same exercise. So you're literally just going to tap your feet in the center, kick them out to the side. We're over halfway through. So no break. We're going right into the side leg raise. Side leg raise and the opposite side. Whew. Have 
after this we have one more TikTok, so the fast version, and then we'll get a little break. So fast. And after this, this is where our 10 second break will come in and we'll start the next group. Okay, so now you have a little break. Our next are going to be a side walking squat and a side shuffle squat. So you're just gonna walk, stay low the whole time. We're halfway through the first interval. So we're gonna go right into the shuffle, no break. So shuffle, shuffle. Staying low the whole time. Let those quads burn. This can be challenging because the whole interval, we're sort of holding that squat. Now we're doing just the walk. In some ways, the walk is actually harder <laughs> because you're stuck moving at a slow pace in kind of a low squat. At least with the shuffle, you're moving so fast you don't feel the burn. Okay, shuffle. You just gotta make it through about 15 more seconds and you'll get a 10 second break. You can straighten those legs. Okay, take a break. Next up we have lizard push-ups and lizard hops. I'm not super great at the lizard hops, but we'll work at it together. Okay, so lizard push-ups. Bring your foot up, out to the side, right up near your hands, and do a push-up. Try and keep that bum down, it's gonna creep up. You're just trying your best. Okay, next, lizard hops. Now, if you can, you can move your hands at the same time. That's very challenging for me. So sometimes I just do my lower body, and that's fine. Okay, lizard push-ups. This is definitely one of the hardest intervals we'll be doing in this workout. Okay, hops. Remember, you can try the upper body if you want, or just do the lower body, like me. Okay, five more seconds and we get a break. Whew. Okay, next up we have a star reach and then star jumps. So we're literally just gonna reach and sort of squat down in the middle. Try and catch your breath because star jumps are hard. Okay, star jumps. We're almost there. Star reach. If you want to tap your toe out to the side, that's fine for a greater challenge. Lift your leg up. And you'll notice I am huffing now. That's a good thing, it means we're working hard. Star jumps. Goodness. Oh. 
Next up we have a side squat. So just squatting to one side and then the other. And we're doing so many squats in this workout. It's better than any squat challenge out there. Next up we're doing side squat jumps. So we're going to jump to each side. I believe when I was a teenager, there was a show on called the Caribbean Workout. And they used to call these downhill skiing. <laughs> I used to love that show. I think Shelly McDonald, I think, was the host. She was really good. A few more seconds and we go to those side squat jumps. So jumping side to side. Almost done. Okay, take a break. Next up we're getting down on the ground. We're gonna do a single leg jackknife and a jackknife get up. So we're going opposite hand to opposite foot here for the first interval. Try and catch your breath a bit. <clears throat> okay, for a jackknife get up, I'm gonna roll up and top. Uh, extra, sorry, tap. Opposite hand to opposite foot. It's obvious I am uh, burning through carbohydrates very quickly here. And my brain is not working quite as it should. Okay, single leg jackknife. The more calories we burn, the more carbs we use up. The more carbs we work up, the more dizzy we can feel. Dizzy's not, that's a sign to stop. But you feel a bit shaky. Okay, jackknife get ups. Uh, and it can be hard to sort of think while you're working out. But there are lots of studies out there that show that working out actually is very good for our brains. Just while you're doing the workout, you might seem a little <laughs> like it's challenging. Okay, take that rest. We're going to do two knee raises and a squat. So knee raise, knee raise, bum out, squat. Then try and start those knee raises with the opposite leg next time. If you lose count of which leg starts, it's not a huge deal. You're just trying, okay? Now we're going to do a high knee, drop. High knee, drop. Two high knees and a drop. So we're just doing, it's exactly the same motion. We're just doing it fast. And it's certainly better than star jumps. Okay, slow. So you see the slow move? That is your break. Okay, fast. Drop, one, two, drop. Almost done here. Okay, box or shovel. Next up, we're gonna be doing some cross behind and knee raises. So cross behind, knee, cross. So for the fast one, we're gonna do a curtsy lunge, so a bit of a deeper squat with a jumping knee raise. So behind, jump up explosively. I 
I am sweating profusely. I can remember I said a few shows back that short hair I sweat less. Okay, the slow version, but uh, I'm sweating right now. That's a good thing, right? We're working hard. We're keeping ourselves healthy. Okay, get ready for that fast one. Curtsy lunge, jump. Now, I'm gonna let you know a secret. This is our last interval. Shh, don't tell anyone. After this, we're gonna be doing our cool down. So give it everything you've got. Awesome, grab a quick drink of water. Come right back so we can cool down. Hopefully you've had a drink of water and you're ready to cool down now. We're gonna start up with a boxer shuffle. So I only literally grabbed a quick drink and came back so my heart rate is still up there. So this boxer shuffle, it's, it's a slow boxer shuffle. We're not trying to get the greatest range of motion here. We're not trying to do it fast. We're letting the heart rate slow down. Letting the breath come back so we don't feel like we're gasping. Okay, high knee march. So nice, nice and high. So your leg is going beyond that 90. It's coming, it's like curling up to your chest. And you should be feeling your heart rate coming down. You should be feeling like you can actually get a good breath now. Next up, we're gonna do a hip flexor stretch, first on the left, then on the right. So left leg behind, roll those hips under. If you've started on the right leg, that's fine. I'll do the right leg after, and then you can just do your left leg then. So it doesn't really matter which side you've started on. Wow, I'm a sweaty mess. Okay, we're about to switch here to the right. So I'll switch sides to show you, right leg back, and roll those hips under so that this part, your front where your hip flexor is, is nice and straight and up and down, and you'll feel a good sort of pulling in those front muscles there. Everybody has tight flex hip flexors, and stretching them is very important. Sometimes by stretching our hip flexors, we can sort of catch lower back pain before it happens. Okay, we're gonna do a runner's lunge, so I'm gonna get down low, put my left leg back, and sort of, if you can, you can come up. You can just sort of rest your hands here, or you can rest your hands down on the ground, or if you don't feel real comfortable, you can always put your knee down. That's fine, you're, you're stretching, so you don't have to be working those muscles. And just, again, it's all in the front there. Just a few more seconds. I wipe some sweat off my face. And we're just gonna switch legs here. So again, you can be up like you can be up like this, resting your hands. You can be up like this. You can rest your hands if you're just not pushing down on that thigh. But or um, if you prefer, you can put that back knee down on the ground and either stay up like this or rest your hands down. As long as you're feeling the stretch in the front of that thigh there. Excellent, we're gonna come down to the mat and do a seated toe touch stretch. So just as far as you can go. Feels really good after working your muscles that hard. When we stretch, we're not just preventing injury, we're, um, we're helping to alleviate some of the soreness that might come when we work our muscles hard. Without stretching, they stay tight and that causes pain. Okay, butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet together, I always grab onto the toes of my shoes. Push those knees down towards the ground. Lean forward a bit. Feel a nice stretch in those hips, the inside thigh. A few 
few more seconds. We have one more stretch, and we're going to open, do an open leg and a forward reach. Okay, so open your legs up wide, as wide as you can. I'm not super flexible this way, and lean forward, and just go as far as you can. If you're sitting up, that's fine. And you just put your hands down, and you try. As you sort of get more and more comfortable in the stretch, you can walk your hands forward a little bit. I try to get my husband to do this stretch with me sometimes. And uh, for both of us, it, it's a real challenge. Great job, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know what you think of this workout in the comments below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see when all the new workouts are posted. And I hope to see you again soon. To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.